so the video you're about to watch is going to be an updated Sarah's stories on mental health. It's been about a year since I filmed this and you're gonna see clips that I don't look like this because <laughs> my hair is different but I filmed it a couple weeks ago and I just wanted to kind of add some stuff. I was actually at the mall and these girls, there's something about teenage kids that I just don't like. I have no use for them <laughs> but or like teenage girls especially like they're just they're catty and I know how they can be and it's just ridiculous but I was at the mall and I heard them make a comment either about my hair or my eyebrows and one of them was like oh yeah I was gonna say something about that and I like looked at them and I was just like okay normally it doesn't bother me but I just I'm like hormonal right now so I feel like that's what's making me a little bit on the edge with comments like that so with that being said, um, that kind of irked me and I just wanted to come on here and just kind of like vent a little bit before the clips that you're going to see, which I filmed previously. Um, but yeah, it's just about my mental health and where I'm at with it and everything and like battling all that, which it's kind of taken me a little bit to film this, so there might be different outfits and all that because I just want to combine them to give you the best video of kind of just where my mind's at all together. So keep watching. It's been about a year since I, actually I think to this day, yeah, it's been about a year since I last did, um, actually it was my first mental health video, um, and I was in a really mm, different mindset than I am today, which, <sighs> whoever is watching over me, like, thank you, because I'm in a better mindset. So I kind of wanted to do an updated video, um, okay, hold on, let me try to get situated here. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a little updated video and it's gonna be all over the place. I have notes here, notes, I have like paragraphs of what I wanna talk about because like I said, I'm in a completely different uh, mindset than I was back a year ago in terms of happiness. <laughs> um, I feel like I wanted to update you guys and also have something for myself to look back onto um, to see how much I've improved in which I don't need a video to remind me of how much I've improved because I have improved. I kind of last year had no idea what I wanted to do or the direction I wanted to go in with life and I mean I still do like I still have those jobs but I also picked up a new job um, this past summer at a radio station doing promotions so that's really exciting but in terms of I wanted to go back to school but that's just not in the cards I talked about that in a video not too long ago last year I had well I mean for since college I've had a business and it I just wasn't into it anymore and I think part of my mental health was I just kind of lost the love for it like I still love to sew and I still love to knit but the business idea itself I kind of like lost love for it. and I feel like if you don't love something you should kind of just like not give up on it but like if it, your heart's not in it you're not gonna put out the stuff that you want to put out in it if that makes any sense at all um I feel like if I want to like with YouTube for example I really really love love YouTube and editing and filming and talking and like all that kind of stuff that goes along with it so I'm more passionate about that and I rather focus my energy into this opposed to something else I mean that made me money but at the same time I wasn't in love with it so I kind of had to let it go and which was kind of sad because I worked a lot to build that up and it kind of made me feel like I failed I felt like I failed myself and that kind of made my happiness kind of like decline a bit because I was like, I really loved this business. It was like a sewing business type of thing. Um, and I said I really loved it, but I felt like I failed myself because I couldn't make it to what I want it to be. But I'm taking that energy and just putting it all towards YouTube. In my last video, I talked kind of about the root and like therapy and everything that I was going through from like my highs to my lows. For my mental health now, I would say I'm, I, anxiety is always gonna be there with me. It's not something that's like, Oh, you're not anxious anymore. You don't have anxiety anymore. No, she's always there. <laughs> if I have to do something like an interview or go on like a date or like meet somebody for the first time, I like this might be too much information, but um, IBS is intertwined with that. And uh, like I'll be in the bathroom for a good like 10 minutes before I can like go out and do something because it's just the anxiety in me. So anxiety is something that really like fucks me up <laughs> and I just get really like jittery and um, I've learned to kind of cope. Like I don't get panic attacks as much as I would have a year ago. I can kind of feel them coming, but it's more like a, 
a fluttery sensation and it just really stresses me out. But along with um, my anxiety comes OCD and the last, I mean, in college, sure, I'm sure I had OCD, but I don't remember college because it was like four years ago and I have really bad memory. But um, OCD, I really realized the last couple of years that it is amplified. Um, it's like weird for me to talk about because I don't want to be judged, but at the same time, I don't, I talk with my hands a lot. Um, I don't want to be judged, but like, at the same time, I don't care. It's like kind of contradicts itself. But with my OCD, uh, yeah, this is weird for me to talk about on camera. Okay, so my OCD is a lot with organizing and cleaning and also like number OCD, if that makes any sense to anyone. It's like a weird thing. My thing with um, OCD is, this is gonna sound nuts to some people who don't understand it, but is with numbers. Uh, I don't like odd numbers. They always have to be even, like on the radio dial, um, or I'll count things if I'm anxious, like I'll count, if there's a window, I'll count the corners in fives. Like this, honestly, this is me being so vulnerable and like I don't know if I'm gonna cry because it's like like I'm anxious talking about it but this is something that like will add like 10 minutes onto a bedtime routine because like I have to fix something like these things here this closet is my worst nightmare like I have to make sure all of these shirts are fucking like straight before I go to bed and that could add like a five minute increase to like preparing to bed because I have a bedtime routine but I feel like everybody has a routine like that but adding like stuff like this into it and counting corners back to that um you'll have to like you know everything has to be there is zero or five at the end um but ocd kind of comes in with my anxiety so i'm feeling anxious i like find myself counting and it's just like it's really exhausting um, like i don't want to make this seem like it's a joke or something silly because it's not and i know that but Mental health is exhausting to me. Like at the end of the night, I just want to lay in my bed and not have to do any of this stuff. But like, there's something telling me like, no, you have to do this or something's gonna go completely wrong and out of your control. But it's just really exhausting to me. And if anybody honestly deals with something like that, uh, please let me know what you do. Some people may be watching this and go, you're absolutely out of your mind. And that is what I fear from putting out videos like this. Um, I had to stop and kind of just think if I wanted to put this out, but I want to be open and I feel like mental health people don't talk about often or like at ever and they judge you. That's why people like myself feel like they can't be real and that's all I want to be and my close friends and like you know people I work with know that I have OCD and they don't I don't feel like I'm not saying like my family doesn't understand it but a lot of people if you don't have OCD or anxiety you really don't understand it um sure you may understand like the surface level but like I'm still kind of trying to understand <laughs> where it comes from but I know like where my anxiety comes from and like everything like that and also with my OCD like I know they're 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 connected and this is honestly I think the first time I'm ever talking to a camera about my OCD and that makes me like I said feel really vulnerable and this is something that I wanted to talk to you about for a while <sighs> and just overall my mental health um, the last year like I said um I guess I kind of talked about this at the beginning of the video, but a year ago, my mental health was like really scary to me and I felt really alone, but now I'm not so alone. You know, I talked to my family a little bit more about it. Um, I write in my journals religiously because I feel like that really helps me as well. And I was so afraid of talking about it, which I, I still am. I still get anxious when I talk about this kind of stuff, but I feel like I can talk about it now you know as like a thing just to try to help people because that's all i want to do i just want to help people and know that like you are not alone you know some days i feel like i am drowning and i can't get up for air and it's like when is this going to end because some days it feels like you're stuck in this black hole and you're never gonna get better but you do you do get better so before i run out of time here i just wanted to say that I truly came on here just to give you an update that I am still, well obviously I'm still here, you've seen videos, but my mental health is getting better. We're getting better. Uh, each day is, you know, a new day to try to tackle these things and it's not the end of the world even though I know it feels like it, but 
if you suffer from any mental health issues or anything like that, know that you are not alone. I'm in it too. We're in this together. Um, feel free to comment down below things that help you cope. And also you can DM me on the gram if you want as well because I'm always there and willing to discuss these types of things. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below like I said and subscribe if you haven't already. And I just want to say a thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.